Have you heard of a term called Takatsubo cardiomyopathy or stress cardiomyopathy? It's a cardiomyopathy when you are actually exposed to emotional stress, your heart can go into, you know, this cardiomyopathy, like stunning of the heart, which can cause Takatsubo cardiomyopathy. Basically, your apex of the heart or the lower part of the heart won't be moving, but your upper part of the heart moves quite well. You know, the term Takatsubo comes from this octopus capturing device, which actually it balloons at the apex and narrow in the top. And it can happen when you're exposed to emotional stress. You know, when a family member, a close family member or a friend passed away or your dog, which has been with you for many years, has passed away. You will experience sudden chest pain and shortness of breath. It will present like a heart attack. When you actually go to the emergency department, they do the tests and they find that you don't have any blockages in the heart vessels, don't do an angiogram and they will tell you you have Takatsubo cardiomyopathy or stress cardiomyopathy. It does weaken your heart, but it does improve you within a month. Sometimes even in a couple of days, your pumping of the heart gets better. So try to avoid any kind of emotional stress. And even if you have Takatsubo cardiomyopathy, you can prevent the recurrence by having a beta blocker on board for a long term.